gorgeous. <laughs> oh, steamy on the lens. I guess that's on loving yourself. Good morning vlog. Hello, welcome to another vlog. I am Jenica. Annika will be joining us shortly. This is just another weekend in our life. We're having such a cute little weekend this weekend. Hopefully this one goes as planned because the last few have not. And I know y'all are probably over my farmer's market vibes lately, but what was this with the fingers? I know y'all are probably over my farmer's market obsession, but it's Saturday morning, so you know what that means. We're gonna go pop over to the farmer's market really quick, get some things for the day, and then see where the day takes us. The lip balm of the day recently has been this Mario one that I got with you guys a few vlogs back. This is the Rose Glow Hydro Moisture Something by Makeup by Mario, and look at this. I have no other makeup on, so we're not gonna talk about this yet or any. Uh, but my face, honest. No, you know what? My face looks really good right now. So we can't talk about it. Annika has since joined us. But yeah, I think that this is just so, so glowy. Glowy on a different level. AJ has made it. Oh, you guys, this is the thing that I was talking about that I was going to look for maybe something for my Kia. Do I look like a lot? Every, Every time, time your hair is in a braid. Yeah. No, you look fine. You look normal. I look like just a person. No, sweetie. I still look fine? Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, we don't have anything really groundbreaking going on here. I wanted to stay super comfy because I'm just coming straight back home today. Uh, look at this cutie little new hat I got from Urban Outfitters. We will talk about them a little bit later. I also got this black new cropped shirt from them. I have on this matching set underneath, but it's a little kind of chilly this morning, so I put on this cropped tee over the top. The set is from Airy. This also is from Urban Outfitters. This is from Lululemon. And then I just have my Yeezy slides on. We changed. Yeah. Give us a bit check. Hat is from Ready Movo, I think. I'm pretty sure. Shirt is from Free People. Skirt is from Lulu Limit. My trusty old blazers. Let's have a good look and see what Weasley just. I literally <laughs> just saw film. We've got hair standing up. Who made you mad? Did you do he something to Mercy? He, you scared him. He does get real scared. He, he does. He's a scared cat. I can't even see the flowers. What about <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna keep this haul short and sweet because it's mostly things that we've already gotten before. So I don't want to bore you, but we got our juices for the week. We got like Franklin Juice Company when we we're in town. And then I got two more of the homemade kombuchas that I love from our local kombucha girly. And then, this is our favorite salsa in the whole entire world. I could truly do a 15 minute segment on how this salsa just means so much to me. But I think that I've realized that I like it best out of literally any salsa ever is because there's no freaking cilantro in it. I'm one of those cilantro tastes like soap people and this has nothing of the sort in it. So that's very fun. I couldn't remember if I got, I think I got mild last time, but Annika was like, I think we should just get both. <laughs> so we got a big thing of both. And then she wanted to try this. This is the local pasta. We've actually only gotten this pasta before at the Nashville Farmer's Market, but they were set up today at the Franklin one. So Annika got some tortellini. We got some fresh sourdough, and this is thin sliced, so it's easier for like toast and sandwiches. I got some natural bug spray because these hot girl walks, I need this. And then I also got some strawberry goat cheese. I'm so excited. I feel like I can maybe put this on a bagel or something. That'll be fun. And then I finally have a place in this house that like, for real, the cats cannot get to the shelf like there's nothing for them to be able to like jump up on so I can have a little bit more fun with flowers just with one bouquet so I keep this one out here this one is only like can only have cat safe flowers but then this one I'm gonna be able to put these local flowers that we got from the farmers market as well how freaking cute is that so gorgeous before we get too far into today's video I wanted to take a moment to thank today's sponsor which is favor 
The service that you know and love as The Pill Club is now Favor. Favor provides digital care, prescriptions, and products for your well-being. Favor is helping you stay in control of your reproductive health with birth control and the morning after pill from Favor delivered straight to your door discreetly. With over 4,000 five-star reviews, Favor carries 120 FDA-approved birth controls and ships to all 50 states. Otherwise, prices can start as low as $6.99 per package without insurance. Favor delivers birth control to your door for free in discreet packaging along with fun self-care extras. So to get your first birth control care package, you can go to heyfavor.com forward slash Jenica. And when you go to heyfavor.com forward slash Jenica, Favor is offering a $10 donation to bedsider.org for every Jenica and Annika subscriber who becomes a patient. That donation will help low income individuals get access to birth control through bedsider.org. That is heyfavor.com forward slash Jenica and you must use that link to make the donation. Thanks so much Favor for sponsoring this portion of the video. I just took such a luxurious shower and I was about to do some post shower activities and wanted to show you guys this. This is cute. Yeah. <laughs> and I can this thing where she will literally not post an Instagram story without like okaying it with me. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. I never will. Honestly, I don't really know if you're supposed to exfoliate before or after showers. I like doing after. I have before. Really? Maybe it's after. I just feel so, like, this is like, I was like, this was a deep shower, you know um, what I mean? Um, I'm having a little chip appetizer. So I don't feel like I want to exfoliate, like, dirty skin, you know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense, but I think, isn't exfoliating to scrub the dirty skin I exfoliate off? in the shower, too, do you know what I mean? But I like how we're talking to each other through the mirror. And not. <laughs> or did it just... I don't know, I just really like exfoliating my, like, arms. I get really bad, I'm sure you guys have seen them before, but I get those, like, bumps on my arms, and I use this stuff that, like, really helps so, 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 so much. This stuff, for real, if I'm consistently using this, my arms do not have anything on them. It is the First Aid Beauty Bump Eraser. It is so good, and I only get, like, the mini one. There's a big one, but the mini one's, like, 10 bucks, so I keep one in there. I'm just gonna exfoliate. I really am only gonna do, like, my knees, because I did exfoliate in the shower. I'm gonna do my knees, elbows, just some like places that spray tan usually does accumulate a little bit too much and then put some lotion on i did go ahead and put clothes on because i wanted to start vlogging oh this is why i put clothes on here look guys look at this i mean call away what they just keep spoiling me. Look at all this freaking stuff, you guys. So I've been using this. I love it. And then I also have one of these that I've been using as well. I broke into this bad boy last night and it is so creamy and good. But this is their moisturizer. I love, love, love. It's this one right there. And then, and then I just used this foaming face wash. It was really fun to have a foaming one. Okay, bathroom updates since I left you guys hanging last week. I have added some of the Ikea stuff to the shelves. I've got them okay for now, right? I mean, I feel like that looks good. These are my little toner pads. Lotion, sunscreen, that's the little Ikea orchid. I feel like it looks cute, right? Okay, and then, oh, I had I added this acrylic Kleenex box. And then I added this. I actually went on a hunt for some like kind of bougie hand soap and like lotion things and I was gonna go with the Aesop that everybody really likes but I just had to go with the Capri Blue. I just had to. And then I found this little tray on Amazon. I'll link it in my shop below as well for the top of my toilet. I feel like it's so cute and like iridescent with the neon up here. It looks so cute. Anyway, what I was saying is there are so many more benefits to exfoliating than just getting dead skin off. So while I had them in bullet point form in front of me, I wanted to share. It also improves blood circulation and promotes skin regeneration. Achieve silky, smooth, and more youthful skin after one use. Microfiber, uh, it's just, they're really good. I also have one of these guys that sometimes I'll use just like as a dry brush. And I just think that, I mean, I know, exfoliation is just such an important part of your skin routine. I know I'll also get questions about this guy, and she is from Skims. Ignore my hot tub stuff from earlier.
Can I take a picture of you? No. Let me take a picture of you. Okay, ready? Smile. No, just smile. Just smile, you'll see. Ready? <laughs> no, what was that? Look at the toes. Look at the toes. That's you, I guess. I thought you were just doing it to scare me. That's actually what I... Mm. No, I'm just kidding. It's a TikTok. And you know how I didn't even take a picture. I did this. You did this flash. Yeah. I could tell you went, you messed it up a little bit. You touched it too, and you accidentally touched it, and then you're like, Woo! Yeah. Okay, well. I'm watching these boys that are apparently popular. Oh. <laughs> they have like 2 million subscribers. I would say that they are then, yeah. So I'm trying to get into it, but they're very cute. <laughs> Okay. Hey, I just lit my favorite candle in the entire world. It's delirium, suede, and smoke, I believe. But look at this that Anna got for me. She got it at that little shop this week at called A Shop of Things. She went with Samantha Joe. Look how cute. And then you light them on the bottom by like striking the match on the bottom of the boot. I just think that is so cute. And then I can replace it, of course, with just different matches. And then I put some roses in this vase that I got last week from Joann's. I literally got it for $7.99. It was originally $40 and they were on sale for $7.99. There was a ton. So if you have a Joann's near you, they are worth going to look for because I also got, I think I showed you guys these last week, this one. And then I put the Ikea little fake orchid stems in that. I just love those. Oh, and then I didn't even show you. Have I shown you my new desk? Oh my God, I don't even think I've shown you my new desk. Okay, I got a new desk. Old desk, new desk. Stuff for storage, new desk. I just, my desk area was like spinning in the back of so many videos and it was just, really truly an eyesore for me because every time I saw it, I, it felt overwhelmed with work and I felt like I needed a bigger, like a longer desk and like somewhere to hide my printer. I got so tired of like, as soon as I came around my corner from my door, like my printer was right there. So I just wanted a desk that was a little bit more sleek. If you remember, I had this filing cabinet under there as well and this one actually has a filing cabinet included. You just push those drawers and there's filing cabinets and then these drawers are just so great as well. So I really, really really love this desk it was truly so expensive but once i saw it and i knew that i could put my printer there and like it also included the filing cabinet it's just i couldn't really be super flexible with what i wanted because it's in the middle of my home so i love this one now i feel really really good about it this was the one this is the chair that we got at tj maxx from a makeup table but it looks so good right here uh, so i don't know what i'm gonna do as far as a desk chair because this one truly does look so good this one's actually the one that was there just this like gray one and i, I was thinking about getting fabric and just covering that one or i might leave that there i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do okay but what i was really gonna show you is we just got a new cat tree after i showed you guys last week that the cherry blossom one was old i realized that this one was was even older and I feel like I cleaned it up I, I vacuumed it and I cleaned it today and I tried to like cut some of these because I feel like I, I, it still could be used so I think I'm gonna try to clean it up just a little bit more and take it to Goodwill possibly what do you think she's like please do not take this one thing that I like in this house but that's a Weasley here honey in your mouth yeah that's Weasley's anyway so I got a new one and of course with it also being such a statement in here I wanted it to still match and look at the black this time it's so so cute to be totally honest Myrtle's never like there's no way that Myrtle's gonna be able to fit in this it's just kind of snug in there Weasley will be able to fit in it there's another seat right here and then this little peekaboo area this is a little small too but they love sitting in these things and then there's like a hammock thing down there so I put some catnip on it to make sure that they know that this is theirs, but Weasley has truly already come over here and loves it. Okay, while we're talking cat stuff, <laughs> I know you guys have seen the bamboo like woven window seat for Weasley and Annika's room, but we got one for in here as well, and it's just this like black metal. It's so beautiful. You can take this off and wash it, but we love Weasley. Weasley really, really loves being by the window. Good morning, you guys. It's actually the next day. Last night after I made dinner, Annika and I sat down and watched the new, it's called Untold on Netflix. It's the story of Manti Teo, which which is, was wild to watch because he's my age and I literally like remember all of this unfolding and I remember like everybody my age kind of did understand like catfishing but nobody older than us did. It was just wild. It was wild. It was a very good watch. Anyway, I am making, I have two bananas that didn't make their way into smoothies this last week so I need to make some sort of banana bread. I can't decide if I want to do bread or muffins because it's like two large bananas. Like usually you need three small or like not small, three medium 
But I feel like having two large is fine. But that's why I wanted to do muffins because I was like, maybe I don't have enough to do bread. I don't know. And then I really like a good moist banana bread. I don't know why everyone's scared of that word. When it's used in the proper context, it's great. Don't you want your cake to be moist? <laughs> Not me getting tore up over that. Anyway, so I keep looking up moist banana bread recipes on Pinterest. Every single one of them calls for mayonnaise. I've never used, sometimes I'll use applesauce, but I'm like, I just don't think I, I, I love mayonnaise. I'm like number one fan for mayonnaise, but I just don't think I could get past mayonnaise in my muffin. Do you know what I mean? So I'm gonna keep looking for recipes. I'll definitely link whichever one I end up going with if it's good, but maybe I should look at some muffin recipes because banana bread muffins. Let's see what we can find. You guys, sorry my dishwasher is going, but I've kind of been popping off since we last talked. I made this pasta salad. I finished the banana nut muffins. I ended up doing a muffin recipe. They look so good and they were so good. And then I made a, just a black tea, but I'm gonna infuse it with lemon and oranges. It is still going right now, but it should be done shortly. I'm gonna put some in this just to have like plain iced tea. And then I'll have this one that has like a little citrus iced tea. And last but not least, look at that. Ooh, steamy on the lens. I am making some homemade buffalo cauliflower wings. I'm very, very excited. Annika has been craving those for like probably a month now. And she bought all the ingredients and just put them in the fridge. And so I was like, okay, I'll take the hint girl. I will make them for you. And dinner is served. I decided to add some of the pasta salad with this beautiful beautiful buffalo cauliflower. I'm very, very, very excited about it. And this is some of my homemade ranch. Voila! You guys, I have been so hard at work this morning getting my Amazon shop up to date. I try to keep it up to date, but sometimes I can fall behind and sometimes things like run out of stock or just aren't available. So I did some like housekeeping as far as updating things, you know, updating all of my nail stuff, updating things for my shoes. Oh, my favorite Amazon sunglasses, clothes, lots of things. This is one of my faves for the hot girl walks. Look how cute. And then it's a bunch of, these are those Lululemon dupes for the fanny pack that I have. And this is also a dupe for the scuba. And then I'm just some of my favorite hot girl walk gear. Look how cute. Also, my Amazon shop is listed in the description of every single video, but it's also listed in my Instagram bio if you ever need it. This is not a flattering angle. And that's all that we said about that. Moving on. Okay. My storage unit has gotten out of control. We don't have much. I mean, we have like a, I feel like we have a lot of space here, but not a lot of this space is storage. We have this closet you guys have seen a million times, this little coat closet and it stays semi-organized, but it just, that's not really the only storage we have besides these guys up here that's like, when am I ever gonna? <laughs> That is, I don't, that is so far up, you guys. I think there might be like a crock pot, maybe some Christmas stuff in there. I think my serving trays and stuff for like Friendsgiving is up there. But like, I really can't fit anything else. Anyway, we have a storage unit and it is so, 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 so worth it and so helpful. We had so much stuff that needed to like go to the storage unit when we first got it that I just started throwing stuff down there with like, I didn't anticipate how much stuff was going to be down there. Cause when I first got down there, I was like, oh my God, this is huge. So AJ is making some trips, bringing things up here here we're gonna go through clothes see what we can just donate see what is actually like we're saving for seasons and just actually get it organized and put back down there it's a huge task and will take up most of our day but we will bring you along okay we've made a time for the progress we do have three full bags for goodwill ready to go annika has actually tapped out for the moment i seriously i'm she said i have to go take a nap really quick i mean we've been at it for like two hours and I was the one down in the storage unit. Yeah, 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 yeah. So kind of we've got, this is actually like clothes that Annika just needs to store. And so we need to get that organized into this one. We're probably gonna do Christmas, Halloween here. And then I still have a lot of figuring out to do. He gets the vibes, we're ready. Hello you guys, okay, it's the next morning and we just got ready to take some pics. I'm feeling very cute. I feel like, I was telling Annika, I came around the corner and I was like, I feel like I shouldn't feel confident in this, but like I do. So I guess that's on loving yourself, maybe. Anyway, I just felt, I felt very, very, very cute. And this top and this hat is from Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters sent us some back to school basics. So I'm gonna let Annika do hers first and then I will come and show you what I got. Hello. Okay, so many cute things. So many like basics to go with cute out. I mean, there's just so many options. Let me just show you everything I got. First of all, can they, can you see it? Tell them what it says, mama. It says 1-800, do not call me. 
Please don't. Please. It's very, very cute. It fits like pretty oversized. And like the bottom is cut off so it just like blows. Next, I got just a basic cropped white tee because I am so weird about how they're cropped, but this one is quite literally perfect. I got the black version of that one and it is. It's like. I've worn it. Oh, I wore it in this vlog. Yeah. Already. Like, yeah. I love it. This little black dress and it has some texture to it. It's just so cute for a throw on or anything like that. Like, it's just a basic that you need, you know? A pink and a blue t-shirt, just cause you know, you gotta throw them on every now and then. And I just think they're so cute. These are such good like pastel colors as well. I love these. Baby tees are in. Baby tees are in. Okay, these tank tops, I literally cannot tell you enough about. I have not taken these off of my body. I love them so much. They fit such good cropped. They also have very good coverage. I mean, these are so good. I got. This one's a large and this one's a medium. And if you want more coverage, definitely go with the large. But if you want a cute little crop fit, it's very true to size. I am absolutely obsessed with these. And then mom was like actually sick of me not having just a plain white tank top. So she got this one for me and it's actually really cute. You did a good job with this one. You're like a clean of wearing white and you didn't have a white tank. Yeah, I just, it's things that I don't think about, you know? Okay, and then you know, I'm a tote girl. Tote girl. So I got these two totes. How? I love this one. Love, love, love. How cute would that be on like a little college campus going to the library? So cute, that's so cute. And then, I mean these are just like, these remind me of the beach, but also like such a good staple piece to have. I'm really excited about these. My last two items, I actually already have one of in a baby blue color, but they fit so much and they just look so cute that I got two different colors. They're like little, uh, they look like Full bags, like bags, but yeah. in a mini version. There's not like a lot of tiny purses that'll fit a vlog camera, and those will. These fit so and they much. So many colors. They've got the little like across the shoulder thing too. Oh, I'm obsessed. I got so many good things. I haven't stopped wearing this and the tank top. I've used the tote to go to the pool. I mean. They're just so good. I feel like a lot of times with basics, I forget to buy them because I want to like buy fun or trendy pieces and then I go to need a white top and I'm like, I literally don't have just a white t-shirt. So I was so excited to get some of these, just little essentials. I got the, I think Annika got this in two different colors, but I got the chocolate version of this little baby tee. I thought it would be so cute with some like big baggy jeans, honestly even this too, and like my mocha shoes. And then, oh, I've already worn this several times too. My Align sports bra that go, is high neck fits exactly under this. And so I've been wearing them layered together and I really, really like it. It's very flowy. I just really, really have enjoyed this. I should have gotten this one in a white too because it has really been so fun to put on. Okay, next, the shirt that I'm wearing here, I've got it pulled up for filming. It just looked very bunched, but I also got it in black. I just think it's like very fun little top. I also, if y'all ever see some, you know, I always wear pasties, even when I don't have a bra on when I'm filming. So if you ever see something going on down there, it's, it's definitely just a pasty, but sometimes you can, they look, they look like nips. Anyway, look at this freaking heather gray, just beautiful, soft, thin. Like I can tell that with each wash, this will just be like so, so much softer. I love this. I love, love, love this. And the idea of just like putting this on with some denim shorts, so fun. Very cute. Then, I got this. I actually just tried this on it. It's really cute. I got this little sheer top. I'm gonna figure out what to wear like bra-wise under it, but it is very, very cute and fits very cute on. Next up, I got another top in two colors because I loved it so much. This is just a little like bandeau top with a halter and you can like scrunch these down or up. I love the orange color and I got it in black as well. And then look how freaking cute this is, I loved the gray, like kind of retro vibe. It gives, I don't know, I really, really like. And then it's gray and then like a pink lilac. I felt like those colors were just so cute together. The neck is like really well structured and like this looks really good on. So I love everything. I also got this hat. I've been eyeing this Mayfair hat actually since the drop. And I didn't even realize that Urban Outfitters sells Mayfair Group on their website now too. So I went ahead and snagged this and it matches with this perfectly. So thank you truly so much. Urban Outfitters, I could honestly throw up saying that because what an iconic brand that I've loved for so, so, so long and worn for so, so, so long to be able to gift us stuff. Like, thank you, truly, so much. What 
a long day. I'm hopping on to close out and give a few updates. We have storage updates. It looks really, really good. I mean, y'all don't know what it looked like before and I did not take a video, but it's looking much better. We only have a few extra things that I need to get down there. These are, I'm still filling up. I did have to wash some of the clothes because they had just like fallen on some of the concrete dust and, and things like off the hangers. So I had to wash a couple loads. So I'm just kind of like waiting to finish everything up. So that's that, what else? Also, I forget, normally I have bracelets that like cover this little tattoo up. And a lot of people ask if this was the tattoo that I like requested an appointment for a few weeks ago. And I got this when I was 18. <laughs> I have this one I got when I was 18. I do not like it, I wanna get it removed. Um, it's just like I picked at it and like didn't really take care of it. So it's like script faded, it's not, it's just not my favorite. But then I also have, can you, I don't know if you guys can see this. <laughs> Let me get to where like the light is. I also have, is this a good way to do this? Can y'all see? I, <laughs> I have a sun behind my ear um, for my mom. And then I have Annika's birthday on my ribs. So I only have three, but I literally got all three of those years ago. I got Annika's birthday in this one when I was 18. And then I got this one when I was like 24 or something. So I've not gotten a tattoo in a really long time. But I've never heard back from that girl. So I don't know if she's just like still making her way through those appointments or what. But I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, I love you so much. I'm just finishing up some work. So fun. It is, what time is it? It is 8.34 and I am just logging off. It was one of those days that I, I really did work the entire day, I feel like, which is good. I like to have those days every now and then. We have lots of fun things coming up. August was always like so, so, so busy with just back to school and like getting back to a, a school routine. So we have been very busy over here, but I think we're in a groove. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Did I just do a peace sign? Huh? I just did a peace sign. I said, You did a peace sign? I know, even worse, I did this. Okay, I'm gonna get my hands dirty. 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 Okay,